Uh, let me show how to put a module, a script that you have written, um, so that Python can find it um, without having to have it into into the folder where you are at the moment. Okay, you can import it everywhere the way I'm gonna show it to you. So let's go into the main uh, okay the main path and let's also press um, the window button and R and press CMD go into the command line here and go start Python then import sys and then import OS and then go and print um, then go OS dot start file sys path and let's say 3 you see that now I have opened the um, I opened uh, my Python lib folder in, into the Python 3.9 version here and into this Um, you should be finding a pth file and there it is pi modules pth with the folder where it, it will look like it will look for modules if I change this it will change it will look for into another one so now and and now um, let's see uh, this is in the lib module in the this is the path and so putting this into this path let me stop the search and go back into the lib folder um, is a Python file and uh, this is a site packages file There it is in the site packages. I got my Pi modules PDH. Let me open it. You see, it looks like it's uh, um, this is the path G and column slash Pi modules. So this means that Python not only looks into his folders here, but it will also look into uh, G and Pi modules so here are all the script that I use for there are many utilities here to transform PNG in PDF to put many PDF into just one PDF and so and a lot of script that I use many times so in many occasions so what I do for example um, if I got this compressed when I see for example I got this pi memo zip in this pi memo zip there is a script and a folder with some with the something with an image in this case and if I wanna copy this um, I'm gonna use one of my script into pi modules So see, this is by modules into my G uh, hard drive, and if you see Pi Memo, this script, you see that I get many scripts. So if I take this and I open it, 
Tags, Brian Tags. You see there is an import zip file and it extracts what's in PyMemo zip into this folder PyMemo and it will extract everything. So what happens being this into the this folder PyModules that I got into my path file uh, that you pth file that you have seen I can go into any any folder here let's say I want to start a new file a new folder and let's call it um, Kinter, I just get one. Okay, let's call it just new folder. Go in here and into the address bar here. I'm gonna press command line. And if I do pi m pi memo, simply like this, it will create go and unzip my files. And I will have this program here. And so I can use it down here. A new this sort of container for for files that we have recently seen in our video tutorials and so I can use any other stuff that is in my PyModules so that is how you can use your modules from every folder without having the script into the folder but taking it from a folder that is in the in the path in the that Python uh, load automatically when it starts. It starts. Thank you and see you.